Hello everyone. Welcome to the Simperion IAS. Today let's discuss about importance of the PYQs in the UPSC mains. The first important of PYQs in the UPSC mains is it helps to understand weightage of each subjects. Uh, for example, let's take the GS3 paper. The GS3 mainly has five to six subjects economy agriculture internal security environment disaster management and science and tech if we go through the last 10 years paper we will at least last 10 years paper we'll get to know the subject wise importance say economy 60 marks agriculture 60 mark internal security 50 marks environment 40 marks disaster management one or two questions 10 or 15 20 marks science around science and tech around 30 marks so this is one of the most important use case of the PYQs. They help us to or they enlighten us with the subject wise importance in the each paper. What is the importance of each subjects? Let's go to the second importance of the PYQs. What are the import? They, they help us to understand what are the, what are the important areas in each subjects. Let's take economy. Let's take in that one of the topic is taxation. In that they have asked GST four times in the last 10 years. So when whenever the GST is in news, if any major developments happens with regards to GST, you can expect a question. So previous years not only provide us about importance of his subject, not only about the important topics, even the micro topics in the economy, in the topic of taxation, GST is important. We will show that in the like in the next future slides with the taking all the examples. Let's take the next question. In the economy, in the topic of energy, the solar energy is important. The International Solar Alliance, etc. These are very important. In the 19, I think 1980s or 1990s, once they had asked about what is the potential of solar energy in India. The same question was asked again in the 2020 or 2021. So let's take similar another example. In the science and tech, you, you have the topic of emerging technologies. AI was asked in the mains in the 2023. This is not the first time AI was asked. It was asked at least two times according to us uh, as far as we have analyzed the PYQs in the 1999 and around 1998, somewhere in the 90s. They asked two times the what are the utilities of AI, what are the prospects of AI. So when the AI with the chat GPT, with the open AI and with the AI taking over the world, AI is a very important topic. Through PYQ, you get to know that this question is something around AI is already asked two, three times. So you can expect a question from it and prepare it well. Let's go to the Third important, very important use case of PYQs. Rather writing say answer for random questions, writing answer for random questions 200 words in 8 minutes, PYQs can be a best source of questions to practice the answer writing. You can practice your answer writing from the PYQs. The fourth and the very 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 important use case of the PYQ is Forget about the prelims. Now let's today only talk about the mains. Around 50% of the questions in the UPSC mains in the GS, GS1, GS2, GS3, GS4, as far as we have analyzed, repeat fully or partially from the PYQs. We will prove that with an exam, taking examples in the next slides. Around 50 questions, let that sink in. Around 50% of the questions in the UPSC mains repeat from the PYQs fully or partially. Okay, hope that that's clear till now and let's move to the next slide. In the 2023 mains, 50 plus questions out of 73 GS questions. When we say 73 GS questions, excluding the case studies. 13 questions from GS4, 20 questions is from the GS1, GS2, GS3, 50 plus questions partially or fully repeated from the PYQ. Okay, let's take the first question. 
what is the difference between the mahatma gandhi and rabindranath tagore in their approach towards education and nationalism this is the 2023 question we have to, today we will discuss only taking mainly examples from 2023 let's go to this question asked in 88 what is this discuss the mahatma gandhi's concept of basic, basic education how did rabindranath tagore differ differ the same question the difference between mahatma gandhi and rabindranath tagore in their approach towards education what is the discuss the mahatma gandhi's concept of basic education how did tagore differ the come coming to the next question see here point out clearly the contribution of mahatma gandhi and rabindranath tagore to the social and cultural life of india even this covers the the concept of education and nationalism so the same question asked in a different format let's come to the third question explain briefly how the idea and experiments of soviet governments in the ussr influenced poet rabindranath tagore mahatma gandhi and it, and pandit jawarlal nehru even even in this has few reference to the nationalism and also the education see this is a kind of a direct repetition these two in some or the other format has relation with this particular question we are not saying it's a direct repetition 1988 question is direct with with regards to education other two questions when when they talk about social and cultural life they cover education they cover nationalism let's move on to the next question very important see between 2013 to 2023 gst related question was asked four times in the 2023 they have asked to what extent does the 101st constitutional amendment reflect the accommodate spirit of federalism it was question regarding constitutional amendment how 101st constitutional amendment that is gst the federalism they have connected those two things they asked the question on gst here they asked a question on what are the revenue implications for india with implementation of gst see in the, in the, in the federal with, with regard to federalism they asked with regard to financial federalism in 2020 how has the covid 19 impacted gst compensation fund created a new federal tension very important the word federal tension so in the 2020 they have asked about the financial federal tensions that, that is financial federalism in the other two questions were regarding gst so whenever the major development happens with regard to gst now you can expect a question from gst because four times upsc has said it is important and they have partially asked the financial federalism question in the 2020 itself let's move to very important next question which is a direct 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 repetition do you think the marriage as a sacrament in india losing its value in the modern india marriage as a sacrament is losing its value in modern india let's take 2020 question does the institution of marriage still continue to be sacred in india see sacrament sacred the same words like don't confuse yourself here the the crux of the question is why marriage as a sacred institution losing its importance or is it is it's a question whether it is losing its importance marriage as a sacrament and marriage as a contract okay so marriage as a sacrament marriage as, see marriage as a sacrament and marriage as a contract this is 2012 question this is 2020 question this is 2023 question same question repeated again three times in last you can say roughly 10 to 11 years you cannot miss such questions please see if you don't prepare for these questions and if you just prepare a marriage as a topic it's not that easy to write this answers in the exam if you prepare it you will write very well you will get probably 60 70 80% of the marks that is what differentiates you from other aspirants see to get into ias to get top 10 ranks you you should must you should you must try scoring 450 plus mark in the gs so to score 450 mark at least you have to score 110 plus in each papers of the gs so the pyqs are very important see such questions when the questions are directly repeated marriage as a sacrament etc you have to try to score 70% of the marks in these questions let's move to the next question the next question is regarding the development of slums urbanization metropolitan cities etc 
See, does the urbanization led to more segregation and marginalization of the poor in the metropolitan cities? Metropolitan cities, urbanization led to exclusion, that is segregation and marginalization. See here, discuss various social problems which originated by the speedy process of urbanization. Same question. And the other two questions which, uh, which are regarding mainly the development of IT hubs and the socio-economic problem arising out of development of IT hubs. They also come under the development of urbanization. They also come under the urbanizations. But these two questions are same. Direct repetition, 17 and 2021. I'll read both the questions. The growth of cities as IT hubs have opened up a new avenue of employment but has also created a new problem. Substantiate this statement with examples. Development IT hub led to these some of the problems. See, what are the socio-economic implications arising out of a development of an IT industries in the major cities? Socio-economic implication can be positive and also negative. But these questions are similar. The development of urbanization, development of slums, development of IT cities, the benefits of IT cities, and also what are the negative. Even urbanization has, has its positive, but also has the negative. It depends upon the tone of the question. Okay. Let's next move to the next question. See, this is one of the question which is like kind of a direct repetition. Direct repetition. Constitutionally guaranteed judicial independence is prerequisite for democracy. So what they are saying? Judicial independence is prerequisite for democracy. See the question asked in the 18, 1884. Discuss the importance of independence of judiciary in the democracy. Here it says independent judiciary important for democracy. Here discuss the importance of independence of judiciary in democracy. Same questions. Asked in a different format. Okay, this is why we say PYQs are very important. This is why PYQs help you to score 450 marks plus marks. PYQs help you to be in the top 100 ranks. PYQs probably uh, help you come out of this Chakrava challenge of UPSC, writing prelims, writing mains, not getting good marks. You follow the PYQ, you will be in the list, you will get very good marks. See, what is, impo see, what, what, what is the important is, when 50% of the questions in the mains are repeated from PYQs, what is 50% out of 4 paper, out of 1000? We are saying 50% plus, at least 500 marks worth are directly there in the PYQ. They are picked and just those questions are repeated or like almost kind of a copy pasted. You cannot miss this. See, please don't take whatever we say in the face value. Don't, don't uh, follow us like some uh, coming from the God. Please take 2023 mains paper. Please take last 30-40 years mains paper, compare it, find, you will find out yourself the important of PYQs. Okay, let's continue. There are many questions. Comment on the National Wetland Conservation Program initiated by the Government of India and name of the Indian wetlands. See, the, the name of the Indian wetlands which are Ramsar site, that question was asked. That question was asked here in the 2010. This question was asked, but Ramsar related questions, wetland related questions are asked in the last 14 to 15 years, four or five times. So by that, you know that anything related to national wetland conservation program, Ramsar sites, these are important. So prepare that well. The least of a Ramsar sites, that question is directly asked. Partially the second part is directly asked, but even you, you will come to know from the PYQ that this topic is important because they have asked many times in the previous years. Let's come to the next question. See, next question is, uh, the crux of the question is, e-governance has its importance and benefit in transparency and accountability, but there are some roadblocks, there are some challenges. Okay. So let's consider these two questions. See, it can be asked as e-governance or it can be asked as implementation of information and communication technology, ICT in the administration. Even it says, it's see here, programs suffer from the, in terms of 
vital factor they suffer here it says there are few challenges they suffer from in the in the 2019 question they it says they suffer from some vital factors how to overcome it the same question these two are same questions the utility of e governance in india even that question is asked so e governance it it's asked many times in the pyqs you know that this topic is important it's directly in the syllabus the partial one part of this question what are what is hampering uh, let, uh, getting what, what is hampering the country from getting the full potential reaching the full potential of your e governance that question is asked here so it's a repetition let's go to the next question next question is regarding the digitization of indian economy what are the problems and suggest improvement see here what are challenges of digitization directly asked problems of digitization challenges of digitization next even the question which was asked in the 2022 they asked say said same thing uh, i went through this question it's it's like a lengthy question it says online methodology using online methodology in the government administration has its benefits negatives it can be used in telemedicine etc but it has some ethical issues problems etc how to overcome it same what are problems of digitization of economy what are the roadblocks and how to improve it okay let's go to the next question let's take this particular question on probity probity is essential for effective system of government and socio economic development it's a 2023 question they asked probity related question three times what do you understand by probity in the public life what are the difficulties in practicing it in the present times how can this how can we overcome these difficulties what do you understand by the probity in governance based on your understanding of the term suggest measures for ensuring the probity in government these are same but by these three question you can identify the probity topic is important and it is asking bit wider question how the probity will help government in effective system of governance and socio economic development let's go to next question see artificial intelligence uh, it was asked in the 1991 actually it was asked again write a short note on artificial intelligence like some like the the year is not given here they asked the same question in 2020 currently the ai is in news it's taking over the world the chat gpt open ai etc and uh, the gemini of google so they asked introduce the concept of it said it they asked about uh, the concept of artificial intelligence how it can uh, help in the clinical diagnosis and and the challenges of privacy what uh, see here what is artificial intelligence what is the current scenario and what are the prospects one of the prospect is of course the tele the medicine or not telemedicine sorry the medicine but here they have gone and explored the further the privacy issues many times even these questions are asked in the ethics or also even in the gs3 e governance digitization of economy how that will impact the privacy etc this, this is important so there is nothing surprising in that question let's now come to the next question because this is from history how did the colonial rule affect the tribals in india what were the tribal response see when the question is about tribal response what is tribal response it's asking about the tri tribal uprisings the ba bhagat movement the munda rebellion the santal rebellion etc see here let's say 1994 question discuss the understandings of tribal uprising against the british rule during the 19th century uh, 1999 question write about the chief features of munda movements 2003 discuss the characteristics of major tribal uprisings in the british india in the 19th century next tana bhagat movement see tribal uprising anything related to tribe uh, tribal movements in the history you know they are very 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 important many times the questions are asked even in the prelims so uh, either they will give the particular tribe and ask you to identify the geographical area or they will ask from the modern india the tribal movements even in the mains it's important the tribal movement related questions were asked many times if you had if you have prepared a very good answer for all these four five questions you could have easily written answer very well very high quality answer for 2023 questions sorry let's take the next question regarding the fresh water resources it is what is 
uh, why is the world today confronted with the crisis of availability and access to fresh water so it is saying why the world today is facing challenges in accessing the fresh water they have asked this question four times they have asked this question in multiple ways one one of the way of asking this is the say melting of glaciers in the himalaya and it it has a impacts on water resources and another time they have asked effective management of land and water resources will drastically reduce human miseries explain india is well endowed with a look at the world india india is well endowed with the fresh water resources critically examine why it is still suffers from the water scarcity same though india has a lot of fresh water resources why it it has a problem accessing the fresh water and what is the impact of climate change on the water resource in india the same questions if you have prepared answer for these four questions you could have easily answered this question and also you know that anything related to water is very important for upsc ocean seas rivers tributaries lakes you know you might have like normally they ask the question in the prelims right which of the following lake is dried up in the last decade or recently something like that so water is very important topic see this is you this is how you identify the important topics for upsc so that is why pyqs are important the previous year questions they re, either sometime they repeat directly or sometime partially fully repetition or partial repetition but pyqs help you to identify these important areas favorite topics of upsc let's take the next question why is caste identity in india both fluid and static it's a 2023 question okay let's take the question from 2018 see it carefully it is saying caste identity is both fluid and static say see here caste system is assuming new identities and associational forms hence caste system cannot be eradicated in india it is saying caste system is assuming new identity and associations caste system is fluid in a direct you know indirect way it is saying that come to the next question 2020 has caste system lost its relevance in understanding a multicultural indian society elaborate your answer with illustrations the questions on caste system and the same questions similar questions see the the answers for all these questions are almost similar or the same the the words they used to ask these questions or frame that questions are very different but the 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 answer for all these questions is same so please go through the pyqs last 40 years for the mains don't go to go go through all the questions there are few questions which are not relevant today the upsc has changed its syllabus in the 2013 so whatever in the syllabus you can go through there are some questions which are irrelevant say the if you are going through the 20 2001 question which was a that year current affairs today it's not relevant at all so after weeding out unnecessary not in the syllabus questions questions which were that year that respective year current affairs so you will you will be left with very less questions but it helps you to as i told you score very good marks in the gs please don't neglect the pyqs we are, we have told the same thing even in the uh, prelims importance of pyqs in the prelims if you neglect pyqs you will be neglected in the rank list don't neglect pyqs don't don't hear to us what we are saying don't take it in a face value yourself please go and check check it for the optionals check it from gs 1 to 4 check it for the csat check it for the gs prelims in the csat they don't repeat the question directly but the same concepts are again repeated again and again the same number system every year they ask 15 questions they ask the same questions around simple interest compound interest uh, work clock questions directions blood relations etc you know it so i don't we don't want to discuss much about the prelims now let's continue with the mains see th th these are other few questions which were asked in the 2013 which were uh, present in the pyqs let's take this particular question the development and welfare schemes for the vulnerables by its nature are discriminatory in the approach do you agree they are saying these welfare schemes are discriminatory in their approach do you agree the same questions see we uh, in in the descriptions i will provide 
a link to the google i'll upload this document in the google drive i'll provide the link to this document in the description so you can go through these questions they are the question in 2023 the same question was asked similar question was asked in 2018 and also in the 2014 uh, the crux of all three questions is the well though government is providing welfare schemes for the vulnerable sections they are discriminatory in nature okay next coming to this question this question is on human development and skill development and demographic dividend the question was asked in 2023 in 2023 actually they have asked three questions on skill development human development and same the two questions on human development one on skill development all are similar the skill development programs have succeeded in increasing the human resource supply to the various sectors in the context of the statement analyze the linkage between the education skill and employment okay the again another question in 2023 itself is crucial aspect of development process has been inadequate attention paid to the human resource development suggest measures skill development human development measures why did human development fail to keep pace with the economic development in the india all are similar topics on human development skill development they are done demographic dividend and how can we exploit the demographic dividend skill development necessary this question was asked in 2017 Next question is regarding 2023 question. It says Indian constitution is a living uh, document or a living instrument because Gaur, uh, Supreme Court has expanded the horizon of right to life and personal liberty many times. Okay. The crux of the question is this because that, that is why Indian constitution is called as a living document because it is amended many times Supreme through Supreme Court uh, directions. They have expanded the scope of a few areas like right to life personal liberty now look go through this question of 2006 what is right to life and personal liberty liberty how have the courts expanded its meaning in the recent years same that the, the, the expanding the meaning of a particular thing right to life or a personal liberty uh, changing with respect to the time that's why constitution is called as a living document they have asked you to explain using two things right to life and personal liberty Next coming to the President Rule, Article 356. This is one of the very favorite topic of UPSC, asked many times in the prelims and means they have asked three times. Uh, the, the crux of the again the question is, what are the legal and the political factors that has reduced the frequency of use of Article 356? So, here they have asked about 1994 Supreme Court a judgment regarding the president proclamation of president rule which is same the the legal angle is this only the supreme court judgments the political factors etc see these questions is asked many times so it's a reputation and one of the very important area of focus of upsc now coming to the next question explain the structure of parliamentary committee system how far the financial committees helped in the institutionalization of Indian parliament? The first part is structure of parliamentary committees. Look at the first question. Describe the organization and function of committee systems in Indian parliament. Parliamentary committees or committee system in the parliament. This part is asked. What are financial committees? Public account committee, estimate committee, Public Expenditure Committee. They have asked all the questions. So this question is a direct repetition. If you solve these three, four questions from the PYQs, you could have directly solved this particular question. Now let's uh, go to the last question. There are other two questions. I'll upload the PDF uh, in the description. You can go through those two questions as well. Let me take The last question. This is a hon honorable ex-president APJ Abdul Kalam's G's quote. If the country is to be corruption free and to become a nation of a beautiful mind, so I strongly feel there are three key societal members who can make the difference. They are father, mother and the teacher. The same quote, the same quote they have asked in 2022, the same quote they had asked in 2017 as well. 
the same quote repeated twice in the pure case it's not 2023 it's in the 2022 and 2017 so okay let's move on to the next the last slide see we simply on ias we develop or we guide aspirant with respect to the pyqs for us according to us there are only two way important things one is pyqs the other is syllabus and one material or one book or one material whatever you can say per subjects this is the basic of upsc preparation you don't have to complicate it you don't have to go through the bulky materials of all coaching institute select one whichever suits you prepare well for the mains last 40 years pyqs are very important again like say in for the gs4 you have only 11 or 12 years for the other papers you have 40 years but the new topics like environment etc and all have probably last uh, 15 20 years of uh pyqs uh, and also the weightage of the subject have also largely changed like in the if you go to the 1990s the modern india had 80 90 100 marks of importance today the importance of the modern india is like just 30 40 marks so accordingly you should prepare and again and again we are saying please don't believe in what we are saying please go through the pyqs yourself and you will get you will understand what is the importance of the pyqs see we mainly like we have our website that is upsc mains previous year answers.com you can log into our website and get answers for ethics pyqs we have answered all last 11 to 12 years including the sample ethics papers we have answered it you can get answers we have answered it very well uh, with a lot of real time examples adhering to the word limit we have answered a case study in a very practical manner you can use for the updates join please join our telegram group that is upsc mains gs 24 2024 upsc mains m a i n s gs 2024 please subscribe to our youtube channel simperion is for and press bell button so that you will re receive a notification whenever we upload the new video we intend to upload two to three videos every day and please uh, don't forget to provide your feedbacks as we are very new to it uh, if you if you want us to change any presentation style etc please uh, write to us in the comment section Thank you very much.